All right, I'm going to try to take a look at this thing again and see what's bothering me the most and try to correct that. I think what I'll do is just go ahead and start blocking in the body and see if that changes how that head looks. Because right now, by itself, with a skeletal structure, it just looks odd. And that may be because it's a skeletal structure and not finished clay. All right, I'm going to get working on this, and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. I think I come down today because I got a lot to do to get ready for tomorrow. I'm going to the uh, foundry to pick up my final uh, bronzes, all my molds, I mean, from the uh, old foundry, and uh, going to put them in storage. And uh, I'm trying to get all everything ready to go. I've got to make a list of. Uh, I've been trying to figure out how I'm going to store those molds. And I think I came up with an idea of putting them in a plastic bag, each one, and then labeling that plastic bag. I had that idea today. So I'm going to work on that tonight. So I'm going to limit myself to how much I'm going to do here because I need to work on that. For tomorrow. Sorry, I'm babbling. I know what's bothering me. His face is too long. I was compensating because the cow space is shorter than the longhorns, but I think I overcompensated in the length. So I've got to realign that. I might have to take his head off again and work on it separately. I'm gonna heat my knife up. I'll take about uh, an eighth of an inch off. Okay, that's already looking better. And I think I'm going to reduce down the size of his jaw. I actually added to the jaw, so that was my fault. I will probably have to... Uh, tilt this clay and work on the front of his face without taking the head off. That's already looking better. I thought about this over the weekend trying to figure out what the heck I could do to improve this uh, 
dilemma I had. I think that looks better already. It's hard to work around these horns because my hand keeps bumping into them. That's okay, I'll just correct them all. The mistakes that I make by hitting them when I get to that point. I gotta raise this up a little bit because I can't see as well at this angle. My I gotta bend my head down to see it. So be right back. Man, it's taking me longer than I thought it would take just to get started today. But I think I got this one figured out. I uh, put a piece of wood here, a dowel there, and I screwed them both together. And then I screwed the back end of th this uh, base so I could tilt it up so I could work on the bottom part here. And uh, it, it raises it up to a point where I can see it plainly. And uh, that's really key is getting to where you can see what you're working on. Sometimes you have to take extreme measures to work on your sculptures.
Well, that's as far as I'm going to get. Uh, it took me longer to figure this out than I thought it would. It, it just took me longer to get to this point. Uh, also, I just noticed that this is loose back there, and I've got to anchor that better. So I'm going to do that now, and then I'm going to call it quits. Uh, but I'm not going to video that because it's quite honestly not that interesting. Um, so I'll see you probably Wednesday. Uh, depends on uh, whether I've got to unload the molds on Wednesday or uh, if we can do it tomorrow afternoon, then I'll be here Wednesday probably. I, I don't know. It, it, it just, I'll, everything's up in the air this week because of the foundry and the uh, molds and, and everything that I've got to get done. It's a, it's a stressful time of the week. Or stressful time right now because I'm having to move out of a foundry that I've become so familiar with. Uh, I could almost estimate exactly what uh, the foundry would charge for a casting. Now I, I don't have that. And everything that I've priced up to now is going to have a tr price and cha change in price because I don't know what the new foundry is going to charge to cast what I've had done in the past. So it's it's one of those weeks that uh, is stressful as all get out. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll uh, see you next time. And I'm so sorry about this being such a, such a short video, but I wasn't intending to come down today anyway. I just happened to want to get back on this and get something figured out. And I think I did. All right, good night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.